this tutorial, we're going to look at media library management. First of all, let's increase the size of the media library by moving the user interface around. Click and drag and expand it to the right. Click and drag, expand it down. This gives us the maximum area for the media library and for us to look at all the files that are, that are there. Let's now look at the uh, Manage Your Media Library. Let's export the library, just the library itself. And look, we've done one already. So let's call down and make it continuation of a number, 002, and click Save. There we save the library area. Let's now go back into the, the same button and empty the library. And we remove the whole library. We've brought two files now into the media library. We click and import the library we've just removed. Look what happens. We're asked to be if we want to merge them. And the answer is yes. And we merge the contents of the libraries together. We have another number of options here. We can sort the, the media so we only view the audio files. We can sort the media so we only see the video files. Or we can just show the images we've got. Or we can show them all. We can show display the in a different manner. In this case, at the moment, they're displayed by name. We can display them by duration with a shortest first. We can display them in detail mode. We can display by file size or by date order. And we can return quite quickly back to the original display. We can bring a file in that needs scene detection to be done and click on this option here, which detects scenes. We can segment the clip as per its description in PowerDirector 7 tutorials. Media library, you can highlight by selecting all. If you wish to drag them all down to the timeline, this is how you can do it. You can actually delete them all if you wish to as well. Don't think we'll do that on this occasion. Enjoy managing your media library. Let's now reverse the in user interface back to what we want. Raise it up as well. Media Library Management, PD8 has the tools.